Welcome to the 3D Cut Freak channel. Let's talk about canvas in Fusion 360. When you're going to sculpt a specific shape, it helps a lot if you have a picture of that shape in the background. This picture could be a downloaded picture from the internet, or it could be a sketch that you've drawn yourself and, and scanned or taken a picture of. It really doesn't matter in this case. To insert a picture in the background or on one of the faces, you click on Insert and Attached Canvas. You select the face and the picture that you open from your hard drive. In this case, it's a side view of the Spaceship One. Now, when you start, it's pretty small, but you can, you can kind of see it there. There is a scale uh, handle where you can scale the whole picture. You can also scale it only in the Y direction or, of course, only in the X direction. I don't want to do this because the proportions are correct. I don't really know the size of the picture right now, but it doesn't matter. Just simply click on OK. You can find all your background pictures here at Canvases. When you open it, you can actually now see the picture called Spaceship One side. There is a very nice feature which is called Calibrate because with this Calibrate you can now make it an exact size. How do you do it? Well, you simply click on one point and another point and now you get a dimension. I want to make a 3D printed model with a fuselage length of 200 millimeters. So I enter 200 here. Now I can go back to Edit Canvas and move it so the tip of the fuselage starts exactly at the origin. Like this. Well, when I say exactly, that's good enough. That's the first picture. It looks a bit strange in 3D, but the side view, it's perfect. Well, let's place another view. Again, insert the attach canvas, select the face and the image. This time, of course, it's the one from the top. Again, it's very small. So scale it a little bit so you have some something to calibrate. And now I can clearly see that this picture is in the wrong direction. No problem. Just spin it by 180 degrees. Again, calibrate from the tip to the nozzle. Don't worry if this is not 100% perfect on the spot. We can always change it later. By right-clicking on the, on the image and edit canvas, you can go back just like the first one and move the tip of the fuselage to the origin. Now let's see if we actually managed to get the length the same, and as you can see, they are perfectly the same length. Great! Now I have a last picture, that's a view from the front. We have to do a little trick for the view of the front, because it's, it's quite hard to calibrate. We cannot use the length of the fuselage anymore, but I will show you how to do that. Let's insert the third and last picture on this face. The picture is, of course, Spaceship One front. Let's increase the size a little bit so we have something to measure. Yeah, that's enough. And that's about this, the correct size. Of course, we will do the calibration later. But how can we calibrate? As I said, we cannot use the length of the fuselage, but we can use the wingspan. But what's the size of the wingspan? Now we're going to make a sketch. Sketch is very easy to do. Here's the sketch menu. You create a new sketch on the top face. Draw a line. And there's your measurement. It's 213 point something millimeters. Can leave that sketched line here. 
and now let's calibrate the picture from the front one point here and the other one here 213.145 I think that was the dimension if not we'll see go back to edit canvas and try to move the fuselage or the picture of the fuselage in the center how can we make sure that it's actually in the center well let's make another sketch on this face and create a circle a circle <laughs> with the center point and roughly estimate the diameter and as you can clearly see this is good enough dead on perfect thanks for watching and please make sure to watch my other videos about fusion 360